Great, Matt, thanks. Well, what do Cole Porter, the Rat Pack, the Beatles, and Lady Gaga have in common? They are all part of C.J. Steinway's reimagined concept for the traditional piano bar that he brought to the Lehigh Valley earlier this year. This morning, he is bringing his concept to our studio, minus the bar, just the piano. We're excited to welcome C.J. on this Music Monday. I just tweeted, we have our, our bar only serves coffee, but we'll take it. We'll oh. take it. And we're glad to have you here to make the bar even better. Thanks so much for coming in bright and early. I hear here you're a local guy, right? You have some local connections. Yeah, I was I was raised in Fountain Hill, mm -hmm. and um, I, I moved away to New Jersey when I was 12. But I came back to Moravian College, and all my a lot of friends and extended family are still here. Great, awesome. Well, how did you get your start in piano, CJ? Why the piano? I uh, went to a party when I was in seventh or eighth grade, mm -hmm. and there was a guy playing the piano, and. All the girls seem to like oh, him, well, okay. so I thought, well, okay. If you're not going to be the star athlete, maybe you better come up with something else. Uh -huh. And then did you start doing lessons? Did you teach yourself? How did that work? Yeah, I started teaching myself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'd already played some saxophone before that. And so I could read music, and I taught myself a few things, and then mm -hmm. took lessons and had a teacher that was very unconventional. Mm -hmm. uh, she taught rock and roll, and, and she taught me by ear, mostly. Oh, cool. And so, uh, to date, my ear is still better than my sight reading. Wow. And when did you realize, okay, I like this piano thing, uh, I want this to be my career? Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I think I was probably 15 or 16. Yeah. And now you teach, right? You teach both piano and voice. Yeah. Um, I, I went to Meridian and I studied music uh -huh. formally, and uh, for a long time I, I didn't do it, but then I accidentally got to teach. Uh, a friend was leaving a job at Germantown Academy and he left and I came in and took over for a year and I absolutely loved it. Oh, that's great. And yeah, and I, uh, I met my wife there as well. Oh, bonus. Yeah, bonus. So your initial theory about the piano so, bringing the girls worked out. You see, there it goes. There it <laughs> good, goes. Good, good. Once. It <laughs> that's once. good. Just once. That's all you need, right? Uh, and talk to us about this new piano bar concept. Uh, how did you come up with this and what is it? I, well, I would go to hear people play piano bars and it would mostly be, say, 50 and older yeah. uh, crowd. And nobody was my age. I was in my 20s uh -huh. and 30s. And uh, I thought a lot of music uh, from today, I think it gets derided uh -huh. by older musicians. I went to a jazz seminar at Temple University, and a very famous jazz pianist was asked, why don't pianists play any new music? Mm -hmm. And his answer, I, I agreed with at the time, was, well, new music is kind of boring. It only has two chords or three chords, and it doesn't have much of a message lyrically. And at the time, I agreed with him. But then when I started to teach younger kids, and they would ask me to teach them Justin Timberlake and Katy mm -hmm. Perry and Lady mm -hmm. Gaga, and I, and I said, well, I'm not familiar with that. So I got familiar, and I thought, there's nothing musically unsound about it. It's just the style of production. Yeah. So when I play at the piano bar, people do tend to be, you know, say 30s and older. So I would play it in the style that I was comfortable performing for them. Uh -huh. But I would do something new, and it's fun to get people to turn around and look at me and go, "Lady Gaga." Yeah, lady? it's great. I don't look like the kind. Of <laughs> But it's great. It's a great twist, and we loved hearing you this morning. Our audience can't wait to hear you. We'll talk about where folks can hear you in our uh, neighborhood, in our community, coming up in our next segment. But what are you going to do first for us? I thought I'd uh, show you one of my reinventions here. Okay. I'm do Katy Perry's Teenage Dream. Oh, okay. All right. CJ Steinway playing Katy Perry. Take it away. Thank you. Line wrong. I know you dig me, so I let the walls come down. Before you met me, I was alright, but things got kind of heavy. You brought me to life now, every February. You'll be my Valentine, Valentine. Let's go all the way tonight No regrets, just love We can dance until we die You and I will be young forever And you make me feel like I live in a teenage dream Where you 
turn me on, I can't sleep. It's run away and don't ever look back. Don't ever look back. Drove to Jersey. Got drunk on the beach Got a motel and built a fort out of sheets Now I'm complete I'm complete Let's go on the way tonight No regrets, just love We can dance until we die you Dreams. Be my teenage dream tonight Baby, put your hands on me Wear your skin tight jeans Be your teenage dream tonight Thanks. Well, it's not every Music Monday that we have a piano player in the house. The sounds and styles of C.J. Steinway are leaving audiences everywhere talking, and we're excited to show you what he's all about this morning. C.J. joins me once again in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you this morning. We talked a little bit about your reinvented piano bar style, and someone wrote to me on my Facebook saying, I wish we had this in the Le Lehigh Valley, and I said, you do, you do, because you've brought it to the Lehigh Valley, right? Yes. yes. Uh, it, it started by accident. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, very briefly, I was playing with Dina Hall. Oh, who's actually, fabulous. She's yeah. been here. And she's, she's been here. Uh -huh. And uh, I was playing with her and her band for a Christmas show nice. on December 22nd last year. And we all went to the Hotel Bethlehem for drinks afterwards. Uh -huh. Great spot. Right. So there's a piano there and some people were playing. And of course, I take my turn playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bartender turned out to be the director of food and beverage, mm -hmm. Kat Brown. Mm -hmm. And she's a woman of such vision and taste uh -huh, that she immediately offered me the job. Oh, wow. That worked out well so, for yeah, you. She said, you got to come <laughs> back. So, so here I am. And uh, so twice a month I go there. The next, uh, the next two performances there will be September 8th and 15th. Okay. And it's uh, Sunday from 6 to 10. Now, what can people expect if they see uh, C.J. Steinway uh, at the piano bar? Okay. What, what can folks well, expect? I'll do some things of, of a, a traditional vein. I'll do one of those standards coming up next, and I'll do some of the, the new stuff like the Lady Gaga and mm -hmm. Katy Perry things. Um, it, what's really a lot of fun that makes it interesting for me is that I get other people to come up. A piano bar is where other people get up and sing with you. Yeah. I should have brought so my second fun. microphone. Oh, I don't know if that'd be good for the ratings, but oh. you never know. Sometimes a girl gets brave. Yeah. So. Well, that's what happens. And we, it, it, people come up, and it'll be anywhere from you know nine-year-old kids to people in their 80s. It's great. Will get up and sing. And so in any one gig, it's it's a family thing. People can come out. It's not. You know, too much of a, when people say piano bar, mm -hmm. and it's it's six to ten, so right, right. the kids are up and fun for all ages. Yeah, and uh, last night my best friend brought his son and came out and he sang some Disney songs. Oh, and, cool! Yeah, and and so people come up there and they go, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, they got kids singing, so some other kid will get up and sing, oh, that's and then great. somebody who's in their seventies or eighties gets bold, and then they get up, and it's different for me every time, even though I may have played the song a hundred times. Uh huh. Must be so fun for you. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot more fun than just doing. My thing, Here it goes is, again. Yeah. Oh, I got to do another gig. 
Uh -huh. so it's a lot more and fun. speaking of fun, you also take this style uh, and this fun to parties. You do uh, private parties, yeah. right? Yeah. All okay. The time. And folks can go to your Facebook page to get more information on that. Yeah, CJ Steinway on Facebook okay. and uh, like me on there, there and and. Uh, yeah, okay. and I'm also on YouTube. Okay, you're everywhere. Yes. Uh, and how has this style been received? Are, are people loving the Lady Gaga mixed in with the traditional standards? Yeah, it is, especially if people are there with, uh, you know, teenage kids. Uh -huh. And then at some point, they kind of brighten up. I played a pool party a few weeks ago, and uh -huh. people actually stopped, like, hitting volleyballs at each other. Like, what's that? Yeah, they, you know, the, the, the girls looked, and they, there was this, this very different... Uh, feel to the room, or I should say, to the pool. Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we can't wait to hear you perform again. What are you going to do next? Uh, I'm going to do a couple of songs from the old standard. Okay. And uh, I'll just I'll start with one called "Time After Time," uh, the original, not the Cindy Lauper mm -hmm. one, though I do that too. Okay. And then maybe I'll segue into something. Else. Okay. We'll see how much. Time All right. We'll see where this takes us. CJ Steinway, <laughs> take it away. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Time after time, I tell myself that I'm so lucky to be loving you. So lucky to be the one you run to see in the evening when the day is through. Passing years will show You kept my love so young So new And time after time You hear me say that I'm So lucky to be loving you Talking to you, Robin Thick. And though I'm not some great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose. Anything goes. And though I'm not some great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose. Anything goes. Anything goes. 